Oh, hello everyone. Uh, yeah, it's a hot stifling day out here. Um, so I think I'll be doing a lot of sewing today instead of being outside. But I thought I'd just show you um, some of the latest products that I did get from HomeSense Winners Marshalls. And those stores, if you haven't been in there for a while, they are really filling up with merchandise. I was really quite impressed um, with how much uh, product there com that is coming in now. So if you haven't been there for a while, it certainly is filling up. So um, I'll start with this, uh, something not very exciting, but it, it's an outdoor mat um, just by the back door. So the dogs go in and out of their little doggy door here. Uh, quite frequently throughout the day and they're always trailing in uh, dirt and uh, twigs and branches and everything else. Um, so, oh, there you go, a little demonstration there. Uh, so in the winter time too, uh, some snow in that gets um, trailed in and that sort of thing. So this one actually has these uh, little grooves in here. Uh, to catch um, yeah, little vegetation or the snow or what have you that gets uh, trailed in. And then inside I did get a new kitchen mat. Uh, the other one uh, I just had to throw in this uh, wash machine so often uh, because um, you know, food was getting dropped on it, or the doggies uh, were getting their dirty paws all over it. It was just in the wash machine all the time. And uh, so I did purchase this memory foam mat. So, of course, it's just uh, that PVC material, but it can be easily uh, washed up and cleaned off. And actually, it's a pretty good size. Uh, so if uh, loading up the dishwasher or standing by the sink doing dishes, or um, this is our chopping board, so if anyone's standing right there, it's a little easier on the legs instead of the like the hard ceramic tile. So it is actually quite comfy and it's nice and big, so um, really quite happy with that. And then for our mantel place, now we did have a picture above the fireplace. Um, oh, maybe I should shift this way with the lighting. Um, it was a lot of uh, dark reds and golds and greens and that. And I was just, I mean, it's been hanging there for, oh, since we moved in the place basically. And I was just wanting something different. So I did get this picture from HomeSense. And it is uh, with the birch trees. I love birch trees. I just, there's something about them. And then you can see the water in the background. Uh, and then I did purchase, um, uh, this um, little autumn swag here uh, a little bit early I mean it's a hot sweltering day um, it doesn't feel like fall yet uh, but I just uh, instead of tucking it away I just uh, threw it up on the mantelpiece so again it's just those lovely oranges and rust and um, reds and that sort of thing so yeah soon enough it will be fall so I'll uh, go upstairs and show you the rest of my purchases. Okay, everyone, I'm back again. Uh, so I will show you some of the things that I did purchase at... Ooh. There we go. <laughs> get comfy here. Um, so Winners, HomeSense, Marshalls. Um, I did get some more fabric to match some of my little outfits uh, for the winter and the fall, and a candle, some clothes. Just a mishmash of things. So I will start with this little coffee cup. Now, when I was young, I loved watching Charlie Brown. Uh, the Christmas specials, there's the Halloween specials. But my favorite characters, I mean, the kids were okay. I liked uh, Pigpen. Uh, he was my favorite uh, little kid. Uh, but I loved Woodstock and Snoopy. Every time they came on, that's when I got excited. So. Uh, there's this big, actually it's a huge, look at the size of this mug, it's just humongous. It's just $4.99 I believe and it has uh, Snoopy and Little Woodstock all dressed up for Halloween. Oh, it's so cute. I just love those characters. And I did get one um, candle. So I went to, kind of made my rounds of the, um, the stores, but I could only find this particular scent. And it's a DW candle, and it looks like it's in this coffee mug. 
and even the top has this plastic cover on it and it even has a little sippy hole on it here so I thought that was kind of cute this is warm apple cider and it's good it's uh it really does smell like apple cider uh so this is the 11 ounce i think this was 14.99 i think it was uh now i was watching um this other canadian they uh, kind of go to home sets and that too. And I did see the pumpkin spice latte in this particular candle. So I'm hoping I can uh, find that one. So, And then uh, just one little decoration. I'm trying not to get too many fall decorations because I do have a lot. <laughs> but uh, I did like this little uh, pear. And it has the little holes in it for the light to come through. So you can certainly put a tea light in here or put... Um, fairy lights would be nice and then it has these uh, silver brushed uh, leaves on here so I thought that was uh, quite pretty and uh, oh uh, so my son Julian is an artist so he does a lot of sitting at the computer he does uh, ceramics also he just does a wide variety of um, uh, art and because he's sitting a lot, he started getting problems with his tailbone and that. And I had that happen to me a few years ago. Um, every one time I went to sit down or stand up, I would just get this sharp pain in my uh, coccyx, if you want to be uh, medically accurate. And uh, so I finally found uh, this pillow for him. And this was at Marshall's, I believe. Uh, so you can see... You put this at the back of the chair so it eases the pressure on your tailbone and it's that memory foam kind of material um, so I'm hoping that will uh, help him um, I just told him get every you know 10 15 minutes just get up and stretch and walk around but um, sometimes he gets so focused on the art hours go by and he's still sitting there so Oh, all right, so uh, clothes-wise, I saw these overalls. I haven't worn overalls. I, I'm trying to think back of when um, the overalls were quite popular. I, I think it was the 70s when I was in high school that uh, the overalls were a big thing. I just can't quite remember, but something tells me it's around the 70s anyhow. And I just thought these were really cute, and I wasn't sure if they are going to fit me, but they fit so nicely. So it's these overalls, and then the back is this, uh, it crosses over like so. And they were actually really, really comfy. And uh, they fit nicely. They, they weren't too long. Most pants were way too long on me. Uh, but it fit quite nicely, and I thought they were kind of fun. And I've been, now I do have a jean jacket. And, whoopsie everything's falling here I do have a jean jacket but it's not lined but I wear it a ton spring summer fall uh, I, I wear my jean jacket um, just throw a scarf on to, to dress it <clears throat> dress it up a little bit and I've been looking for a long time for one that's lined but I found that uh, any jean jacket that was lined the sleeves weren't lined like I want okay it's fine for my torso and my core to stay warm uh, but yeah I want my arms to stay warm too so I finally found this um, jacket uh, by Roxy I think this was in Marshalls so it's lined with this nice white furry material and then the arms are actually lined um, with this kind of thick padding so yay finally I found a lined uh, jean jacket uh, so yeah um, I, I just wear my jean jacket quite a bit uh, so I'm glad I really uh, I fi finally found one um, that fits so this one actually um, I just had enough room where I can wear a sweater underneath it or something a little bit bulky too uh, so it was just the perfect fit too so good to see find that one and they had some towels out, some tea towels, and I love this deep, rich orange color, rusty orange. It's so nice. Uh, and then the other tea towel is this uh, plaid material. I did get a couple of shorts, uh, and you'll you'll see a theme going here. I love 
deep rich roses and purples wearing those colors for the fall so um i did find these shorts it's just a very deep rose color and it has the um the separate little stretchy pant underneath it and then it's got this meshy material and then this is uh like a darker richer purple there and again it has these um the stretchy little pant underneath there and then this is a hoodie again i just i just there's something about this dark purple i like um especially in the fall i just love it and this one has um it's lightweight but it's got that fleecy lining and i wish the pockets were bigger um I like zippered pockets on these, so when I go out in the woods or wherever, I can just put my phone in there and zip it up. I don't have to worry about the phone falling out. But anyway, it's got a hood, uh, and I just just love that color. There's just something about it. And I do have now my red truck back here. Um, I bought this stuff a few weeks ago at um, I think Michaels, and I don't know if. Did I get some at Dollarama? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. I haven't been in Dollarama forever. Uh, I think some of this was at Winters and Home Sense also. But to decorate my truck, um, I did purchase uh, some of these uh, plants there. Uh, this one's cute. It's got little acorns on it. And I, I thought I could use these in my Scentsy Make a Scene Warmer also. Uh, there's uh, some squash and some little mini pumpkins and oh yeah for my make a scene warmer I do have these uh, fall trees and then I got a bunch of packages of um, these little mini hay uh, hay bundles so uh, yeah, I'm going to use that for the truck and also for my Scentsy Make a Scene Warmer to make a nice fall scene. And I think in this bag it's the same kind of stuff. You know, it's just the same kind of stuff. I think uh, Abby was nibbling on this one already. <sighs> What's new? And then, um, oh, I bought some earrings. So these ones are from a Canadian um, I went on to Etsy and I uh, typed in um, Viking Celtic kind of jewelry and um, there's so much that popped up so I kind of hit Canadian and kind of kept it under $20 uh, or else you'll be on there forever. But it's from It's My Things Design and I believe she's located in British Columbia. So I got this Viking uh, Celtic knot she called it. And uh, she also made these octopus. Now, they look more like squid. I don't know. But anyway, I'm always kind of fascinated by how intelligent they are. But they're very well made, and they're just so cute. And uh, now I did order this from DeWise Designs. And she's located in Florida. And this is um, this very, very light wood. Like, they're very, very light. And it has the... Now, this symbol is called Begvisir. And it's from the Icelandic uh, language. It means wayfarer, wayfinder. Uh, so it, if you carry this symbol with you, it's supposed to prevent you from getting lost. And it kind of helps you make your way through storms and bad weather and that sort of thing so um, not sure if it's related to the Vikings there's some controversy about this symbol but anyway I think it's really really cool I did buy a necklace um, with this symbol on it in Ireland so I thought those were pretty nifty and uh, yeah so I did order some more from um, order something from England and um, something from Nova Scotia, a pair of earrings from Alberta, 
uh, Quebec, like all over these different provinces, because I like to kind of support uh, the Canadian artist in that. But uh, I did get a, a cute little like dog paw earrings from England and that sort of thing. So, and then one more thing, I did um, did go to the fabric store again, and uh, yeah. It's, Lens Mills has such an amazing choice if you have Lens Mills in your area. So because I wear a lot of purple in the fall, I want to co color coordinate my outfits. If you have to wear a mask, you might as well color coordinate it. So I did um, purchase uh, some purple material that just has some cursive writing on it. Um, this one's really pretty. It's uh, purple. It's got to have that gold uh, design on it. Um, I had to... Uh, this purple background with the the pumpkins. Uh, I love history, so I have this um, material. It's got like old globes and old books and um, compasses, all that stuff on it. So uh, I really like that. And then I got this cute one with the little birds on it. I really love that gold kind of background with the birds. And this one is cute. It um, I do have a uh, um, a fall coat with this color of turquoise on it. Then it has these little squirrels on it. And then this one has this little uh, black and white, it looks like a magpie bird on there. Uh, this one's kind of for fall, so it has the, the birds with the um, uh, beautiful fall colors, fall foliage on there. And I did previously make a mask of this, so it's got the the Canadian maple leaf on there and the moose and the bear and that. And I love anything nature themed, so that's uh, some uh, birch trees. And uh, and then I did get this kind of purple material, so I'm going to maybe make a mask with this because I think my mom wears this a fair bit there, that color. So anyway, I think that's what I'll do for today I got so I'm gonna just make up some more mask it's really too hot to do anything right now and Mildred's paw is still bothering her so I'm gonna to have to take her to the vet this week because uh, we're kind of all out of um, solutions for her. we're just not sure what's going on so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed it's just a little bit of everything here um, I hope you're uh, doing well staying cool I hope your families are safe and sound uh, so uh, give your loved ones a hug and kiss uh, be safe, be kind, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.